We started this process at the end of 2019 to find the best project team to build these two stations. We were looking for things that worked best for our community. Um, these folks uh, gave us this bond and we had to you know, be the best stewards of our money, of their money. Uh, so we wanted to make sure that we had everything that they needed to provide the services that we could give them. I spent more time looking at making sure we were getting the facility we needed, the right features, that the systems worked like they were intended to. Obviously this pole is a something Longmont hasn't had in a fire station in many years. Uh, and it, it's here because this is a two-story building. It's our only two-story fire station. So we went back and to, in tradition and put in a pole. Uh, we're always trying to be good neighbors and, and uh, provide good, quick service without being too disruptive in the community. And I think both these moves will help that. We couldn't do this without the public, uh, the city manager, the city council supporting us in all we do. Um, and all the time I've been with Longmont Fire, the community's been very supportive of us and, and we're all very thankful for that because having these new facilities, one, allows our firefighters to be a little healthier, a little safer, which in turn we can, you know, hopefully better serve the community because that's our goal. At the end of the day, when you go, why are cities here? Cities are really here for the health, safety and welfare of the community. And that really includes some course concepts, you know, like water, wastewater, streets, in our case, electricity and sanitation. And those will vary by city. The one that doesn't vary is public safety. It really is a partnership that we have with the community in that without them, they don't vote to approve this bond election and we don't get these two new fire stations that actually add capacity over time in terms of what we need to do. But I think it really speaks to the larger bond initiative in terms of you know rehabbing the facilities that um, were in desperate need of that. And, and just a big thank you to the community because without their support, none of this would have been possible. I guess I just want to make sure that um, the public knows how grateful we are for again for supporting us for providing that bond so that we can get the projects completed and to know that we were good stewards of their money so we counted every penny we we checked rechecked make sure we were getting the best the best product so we do want to say thank you to everybody in Longmont for that um, and we appreciate them and we appreciate their support of the city. I, I think I can say without hesitation that the, the firefighters certainly appreciate having nicer, modern living quarters uh, and all the privacy features and things that this building provides. We're really excited to have these two open and ready to go for us.